Welcome everybody, my name's Ollie Nicholson and I'm a technical artist and field engineer here at Unity. This session will walk you through our digital content creation tool import improvements and briefly cover our 3D import pipeline. I'll present live out of Unity for the first part and then we'll have a Q&A from the live chat feed. So, today we're going to cover the DCC application and formats that are supported inside Unity. We're going to look at um, preparation and best practice for those assets. Uh, we're also going to see the digital content creation tool import improvements since 2017.1, including the area and angle weighted normal calculations, light import, camera import, animated visibility, keyframing workflow, and the PBS or physically based shaded Stingray material import. And then we'll summarize before leading on to Q&A. So Unity supports a variety of 3D model formats, most commonly FBX, but the full list of supported formats is quite extensive. And that includes uh, .ma and .mb files from Maya, which are proprietary 3D package formats. 3D Studio Max, we have the .max files and .blend from Blender. Uh, and then we have a series of interchange formats listed on the right there, FBX, 3DS, DA, etc. Generally, we recommend FBX as it has some distinct advantages over both the DCC and proprietary files, namely that it's modular and portable and it doesn't require the host DCC application. Its advantages over other interchange formats that you can embed textures and we now support animated lights, cameras, visibility, animated custom properties and PBS material configurations from Stingray materials in Max or Maya. In short, you can get more of your stuff straight into Unity to look the way you expect right away using FBX and our new improvements.